Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about basic concepts of file. Means, what is file? Which are the different attributes of file? And which are the different types of operations that can be performed on a file? So, let us start with the basic concepts of file. So, first question comes in our mind that what is file? So, if we wants to define a file, then it is nothing but a unit of storing data on secondary storage device such as hard disk or some other external media so in simple we can say that a file is nothing but a container for storing data on secondary storage device and each file has a name as well as its data so file is having two things name of file as well as the data that is contained in that file and operating system associates various information with files for example the date and time of last modified file size of file etc and this information is known as files attribute or we can say as metadata and this attribute varies from system to system means each and every system is having different attributes as per their requirement next move further file attributes which are the different types of file attributes first category in this category attribute tells who may access it and who may not means all the attributes of this category can tell which user can access this file and which user cannot access this file first attribute is protection this attribute tells which user can access the file and in what way or we can say for what purpose second attribute is password that is the password required to access the file third one is creator that is the id of the person who created the file and fourth one is the owner that is the current owner so here how these two attributes are different here the creator means the user who has created the file an owner is the user who is the right now owner of this file so it may be possible that at the time of creation of any file the person who has created that file is owner but that ownership may be passed to some another user so the owner may be changed so here creator is having the id of person who created the file well as the owner has the current owner of file second category the attributes of this category control or enable some specific property so here the flags are bits or sort field that control or enable some specific property first one is read only flag if the value zero means user is allowed to read as well as write if the value is one means user is only allowed to read user is not allowed to write your file second one is hidden flag if the value is zero means unhidden that is known as normal if value is one means it's a hidden do not display in the listing third one is system flag zero for normal and one for system file if the file is system file then this flag is one if the file is normal file then this value is zero then archive flag if the value is zero means has been backup if the value is one means need to be backup then after fifth one random access file if your file is random access then value is one if the file is sequential access then value is zero then after temporary flag zero for normal file one for delete file on process exit means the file is temporary once your process completed then the file is to be deleted so in such cases the value of this flag is one and seventh one is lock flag if the value is one means it is locked if value is zero means it is unlocked so these are the various attributes having value either zero or one for a specific property next move further third category the below attributes are only present in file whose record can be looked up using a key and they provide the information required to find a key let us see which are the attributes first one is record length it contains the number of bytes in a record second one is key position 
that defines the offset of the key within each record where your offset is in your record third one is key length that is the number of bytes in key field next category is fourth category that is various attributes keep time track of when the file was created most recently accessed and most recently modified so it simply keeps the track of file creation and as well as modification first one is creation time it contains the date and time when the file was created second one is time of last access this field contain the date and time of file was last access means whenever your file was last accessed next one is various attributes gives the track of file size which first one is current size contains the number of bytes in the file then after maximum size that keeps the number of bytes the file may grow up to so these are the various attributes that keeps the track of file size next move further file operations which are the different operations that can be performed on a file first operation is create whenever we are creating a new file at that time this operation can be performed second one is delete whenever your file is no longer needed at that time we are deleting our file to free up the disk space at that time this operation is to be performed on your file then after open the purpose of the open call is to allow the system to fetch the attributes or we can say to open your file to perform some operation on it then after close when all the access are finished the attribute and the disk address are no longer needed so the file should be closed to free up the table space means whenever we have opened our file and our work is completed at that time we are closing our file to free up the table space at that time close operation is to be performed on our file then after read data are read from file usually the bytes come from the current position write data are written to file usually at current position means whenever we wants to write some data on file at that time this operation is to be performed on file append this call is restrict form of write it can only add data to the end means whenever we wants to add some data at the end of your file at that time append operation is to be performed on the file seek this operation is specially for random access file a method is required to specify from where to take the data and at that time this operation is performed on file here seek reposition the file pointer to a specific place in the file from where you wants to access your data next one is get attribute process often need to read the file attributes to do their work whenever we wants to perform some operation of attributes at that time a process required to read these attributes and at that time get attribute operation is performed on file next one is set attribute some of the attributes are user settable and can be changed after the file has been created this system call makes it possible so sometime it may be possible that user can reset the value of some attributes whenever user wants to change this attributes value at that time to change the value of this attribute set attribute operation is required on the file then after rename sometime it may be required to change the name of your file at that time to change the name of that file rename operation is required on file so these are the various operations that can be performed on the file thank you